Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my wonderful wife Laura who's behind the camera and this is just our second part of our sort of look at our DVD collection, movie collection. Yeah. So we had to split it in two parts because the first four shelves that are eight just took forever to film. Yeah, so we're down to the second half. We've got four more shelves of like movies and, and TV, TV box sets. Yeah. So we'll just uh, jump to the first shelf and get started. So <laughs> we start out... <laughs> Part two with a whole bunch of our kids' DVDs. Um, yay! Hooray! We have Speed. Cause... You can't really see because of the light, but... Ah. And oh, you've got to have this in your collection. Oh, uh, yeah. If you grew up and, and, you know, were a Spice Girls fan. Uh, That's their uh, lovely movie. Oh, the DVD case is such a weird thing for that. It's so thin. It's really bizarre. And it's actually like uh, plastic rather than like... You know, hard plastic rather than the soft sort of regular DVD plastic. Yeah, so very weird. it's really odd. Um, Spider Man. I don't really know why we've got that. We're not really big fans, but yeah, mm. I think we picked it up to watch it originally, and it's just stayed on the shelf. Mm. I think, but um, we've got the nice box sets of Star Wars, which is which contain both the special editions, which have the sort of George Lucas edits, as well as the original theatrical releases. So. Very cool. So you got the best of both worlds. Yeah, and so we've got like the original ones as well as then the three, the prequel trilogy. Mm. Um, we we don't have the new no. movie yet. Oh, we'll look at the next ones. Now we've, we've got, got some here. really weird Star Wars related things. So we have um, the animated adventures droids, which, which is, is a double feature. Uh, the animation is very questionable. <laughs> Then um, we Ewok. have Ewoks. Another animated one. With a double feature. Woo. Maybe that's just the people who make them. Uh, possibly. And, and you've got the Caravan of Courage. And the Battle for Endor. Which is another fantastic piece Ewok of... related movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then, oh, these are all... A lot of these are second hand, so they've got like sticker residue from price yeah. tags and stuff. Starship Troopers. Yeah. Always just a good for a sort of a bit of a laugh if you don't feel like watching anything too serious. Then Sucker Punch, Sucker which Punch. is a um, pretty interesting. It's a weird movie. movie. Yeah, uh, it's not really at all no. about what it looks like on it's, the cover there. It's yeah, that's it's it's hard to describe. You have to watch it, but don't get fooled by some of the trailers or sneak peeks or anything no, you might have seen. No, it's very different from what you might think. Oh uh, no, this classic. is definitely yours. Um, if you haven't watched the first half. Nathan's movies are basically all like the more kid friendly, like cartoon ones, and mine are all like the darker, I mean, I know morbid that, sort of I ones. I know that's not a good movie, but I still enjoy it. Well, you're a big fan of like Mario and yeah. all that, so you've, you've got to have it. You've got Sword in the Stone, yep. Tangled, Tarzan. Teaching Mrs. Tingle is one of mine. It's just a. I was going to say light hearted, but that's not right. It's just like a thriller, not really even a thriller, like teen sort of scary suspense. I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. Now the first TMNT movie, the original, um, the reason it's, and we've got just a single one rather than like a, a box set because in our last video we've got a five movie box set with like Power Angel and it has yeah. two and three so it's very, very odd. Terminator. <clears throat> and then we have more some classic. more kids ones. Oh, we've got the Deadpool. Got Deadpool, who we haven't actually opened yet, but we, we actually have seen. We saw it on Netflix I think at some yeah. point. We, we just didn't watch it on that particular Blu-ray. Rest of the Terminator movies. I say the rest of. There's only three. No, right? there's, no more. there's four like now. Five or something. Five. Um, yeah, I Salvation see. and then something else maybe. I'm not a fan, which is why I'm not 100 percent sure. We have Thor. Um, just the first one, I think. Yes. We've got. Yeah. Um, Tim Burton, Tim Burton collection, collection, which has got um, it's got Beetlejuice, yep. Sweeney Todd, which is one of my sort of movies and, and Corpse, Corpse Bride. Bride. Really weird set. Sweeney say, Todd does not fit with Corpse Bride at no, all. No, out of all the movies I could have picked, it was a bit of a bizarre choice. Yeah, and this is a weird one that I have. Tokyo Gore Police. Definitely, it's an R yeah, rated movie, so... There is lots of weird ass gore in it. Really, really bizarre. Total Recall, yeah. the original, <laughs> classic. These are all yours, Toy, Toy Story, Story 1, my, 2, 3, Toy and... Toy Story's probably my favourite movie. There's another one coming, isn't there? Uh, yeah. So you're probably happy about that, I would I say. am, but I mean, it ended so well with the four, so... Yeah. I've also got the Toy Story of Terror, which is like a yep. short for, for um, TV, Pixar I think, or thing. something. Yep. Original Transformers movie. Tremors. Classic, which is like a, a monster sort of movie, I guess. Tron, the original. Which actually still looks really good these days. And Tron is, Legacy right next to it. <laughs> which is not as good as the original Tron. 
Underworld Quadrilogy. Um, I like all those sort of, you know, vampire sort of action That's why movies. You like Twilight, right? Oh no, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't even own that, which is good. No, um, no, we don't like Twilight in this household. Um, Up. That's the first movie we watched together. We did. We saw that at the cinema on our second, second date. Second date. We weren't meant to go for our first date, but we didn't. And maybe that's a story we'll tell you another time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, v for Vendetta. That's one I really enjoy. Van Helsing. Again, all the, you know, sort of so vampire Van Helsing action. Out with like a female lead. It's a bit yeah, I've, I've heard that actually. I haven't seen that one. Venomous, another giant creature movie. Um, we sort of mentioned in the first half of this video that I really enjoy, you know, giant creatures trying to attack people. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it says something about your personality, doesn't it? And then back to you with Wally. -E. And then <laughs> Wallace and Gromit um, with the three main ones from the 90s, I think. So the classics. Um, so we have a Grand Day Out, The Wrong Trousers, and A Close Shave. Yeah, I really like those. Hmm. Okay. Strong nostalgic value. Um, just up the top, we have a really broken Law and Order. Um, yeah, needs a, a new like case. Up um, some Sing Stars, actually. And Yes Ma'am with um, Jim, Jim Carrey. Carey. I almost said Drew Carey, but that's not right. Um, Wanted, Stu which you hate. Stupidest movie. <laughs> Just a dumb, an easy to watch action movie, which is why we've got dumb. it. Willy yeah. Wonka, the the proper Origi original not one. Not Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Willy no. Wonka and Chocolate Factory. And then another one of yours. No, the, the Nintendo the advertisement wizard. posing as a movie. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> it's good, but I mean, you know, we can see what it is for what it is nowadays. Yeah. <clears throat> um, then we have Wizard of Oz. Can't. Classic. Yeah. Can't not have Wizard of Oz in your collection. It's so old. It's, it's, it's so much better than a lot of the movies nowadays. It's amazing. Wreck It Ralph, which is sequels coming out in a couple of years. I don't really know why we've got X Men: The Last Stand. That's the only one we have. Yeah. Out of all of them, and we I'm haven't even sure seen was. half of like the ones about Wolverine and all of that. So. I'm pretty sure it's damaged that set too. It got waterlogged. I think, yeah, or something. I think so. Um, Triple X. I really enjoy that <clears> one. <throat> um, action flick. Not the second one, but I'm looking forward to the. Th it's going to be the third one, isn't Which it, with um, Vin, Diesel. Vin Diesel is in again. Zoolander, Zoolander, the original. Another classic sort of comedy of the 2000s, I mm. guess you could say. And that's the end of our movies. So now yeah. we get on to um, TV box mm. sets. So we start with yours with Adventure with Time. Adventure Time, which I really like. And I think it's going to be, in a couple of years, a classic down the road. Yeah, I'm just going to move these ones over. And we have... Carl this is a really Pilkington, good one. An, an Idiot, Idiot Abroad. abroad. Oh, really Paul funny... This guy just has, what you say, a really dry sort of view on the world and he, he's, didn't he, really have any desire to travel and he, he goes around. He's an Englishman who basically doesn't really, he, how would you describe it? He sort of just pottered around his own hometown, didn't do much, and then all of a sudden he's tricked by um, Ricky Gervais into and doing Stephen all his Merchant. weird stuff in yep. different countries. So. You have seasons one to five of Angel. Now, how well does Angel end? Well? Well, I love it. But I, I love mean, Angel. The ending, is it good? <laughs> well, it's not how I would have wanted it to end. I'm not going to say anything about it, just in case there's people out there who yeah. haven't seen it. And now we need to switch to the next shelf. That's oh. Alright, so these are back to mine again. Although you got to, don't mind these. Hmm. Uh, AVGN, or Angry Video Game Nerd, Nintendo Nerd, Volumes 1 to 7, 8. 1 to 8, yep. 1 to 8, so they're fantastic. Uh, board James. Do you want to say what that is? Because that's not something that's on TV actually, no, so, so a lot of people might not know it. So he has a web series where he basically uh, talks about old crappy video games. Well, he, he, so the guy who created them uh, plays a character, the angry video game. Yeah, nerd, so, so all, all these opinions. They're not, they're not like documentary no, sort of things. It's, it's all very, very exaggerated and it's not meant to be taken seriously. No, and lots of uh, swearing. So again, yeah. not for kids. Um, we have a lot of stuff not for kids, actually. And uh, it's not in here, but we actually have Meg, uh, the AVGN X Blu-ray, yep. which I think has like episodes 1 to 100 in it. Mm -hmm. so um, Nathan makes, got that recently which is why yeah, that's not on the it shelf it makes most of these sort of obsolete because yeah. they're all on Blu-ray um, on the other shelf here with Dusty the AVGN movie which yeah. actually was a lot better than uh, it, it was good, good well, for, well for worth a, purchasing good for an indie sort of flick and, yeah yeah and then we have Big Bang Theory. That's mine. I've only got the first four seasons, so I really need to pick up more. Seven or eight now, possibly. Eight at least, yeah. And then we have Board James, which is another series he does. But kind of a spin-off of, yeah, Angry Video oh, Game. And it gets really dark real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we actually have Dream Phone and Mr. Bucket the game, so. Yeah. 
They will which is kind of scary, yeah. given what's in board, Jane. <laughs> we have all of the Buffy, which me and you have both watched together. Yes, we have, but One that was rare. mine originally. Uh, and then we have Castle, which is great. Um, I've got the complete second season only. And about five or six now, I can't remember. I'm not sure. I've completely lost track, and I never seem to catch them on TV anymore. So I need to find the rest of those to pick up so I can finish <coughs> watching what's out. And then we have Cat Dog Series 1 and 2. Um, I remember Nickelodeon you, one. Re, uh, years ago, um, you couldn't actually buy any Nickel uh, the old Nickelodeon cartoons at all. Mm. I think the only way you get them was via like, Amazon or something, but... Um, in a couple of years ago, they actually released basically a whole set of, yeah, like, a lot of rats, them. cat dog, angry beavers. So. We don't have that. No. Hmm. Uh, Count Dracula, another sort of classic sort of Sunday or uh, Saturday sort of morning cartoon. So we know that we're, we're in Nathan's area there with yeah. Cat Dog and Count Dracula. Uh, <laughs> Dead Like Me, the series and the movie, which That's is yours. That's mine, yeah. It's a really sort of dry, I guess, comedy about well, I mean, death, sort of. Yeah. I can't really describe it because I haven't really seen it. it, it yeah, it, it's a comedy, but obviously a little bit darker, um, <clears> given it's called Dead Like Me. So, then you've got Desperate Housewives. Some of them. Desperate Housewives. I really enjoyed it. You can yeah. make fun of me all you want, but I really enjoyed it. We have Dexter up to Series 6. Wait. One, no, two, I'm missing three. Season 5. And that's the one I'm up to watching, actually. Of course. The first four, yeah. Down to the Abbey, which only has seasons one to four, and I think the, the fifth and final season's done and Yeah, I've just finished watching that, actually, on Netflix. So we so probably should get rid of that or get the, the whole five Get the five, I think, definitely, because I really enjoyed that. It's <clears throat> totally different from most of the other stuff I have, but... Yeah. Yeah, well worth the watch. Earthworm, Jim with Dam, Castel, 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 Castel and Letter. I can never pronounce No, that. I'm not even going to try. I don't know why you bothered. He's the um, the voice behind uh, for Homer Simpson on The Simpsons. Um, it's actually not a bad animation for what it is. Um, you really like it, which really is why like you it. got it. Um, but obviously, once the game sort of faded in popularity, so did the animation. Mm. You have Firefly. Absolutely <coughs> fantastic uh -huh. one series show. You have, should have made more. You have Castle there as the lead and a whole <laughs> bunch of other people. Yeah, I love Firefly. And we have Flower Concourse, which is actually really funny. Yeah, really good show. Well worth the watch, that one. Um, the first series is better than the second, but... Uh, and they have some really funny songs, too. So yeah. mu musical comedy sort of They remind me of um, Rhett and Link on Good, good Mythical, Mythical Morning. Morning. So yeah. that's on YouTube if you want to check that out. So Yeah, that's one of our watching. probably favourite YouTube channels. Um, Future Armour, you've got one to... They're not in the right order, um, the Future Armours, because the, all, they're, all the movies <clears> are up the front you've there. You've got The Beast of Billion Backs, Bender's Game, uh, Bender's Big Score, Into the Wild Green Yonder... Series 1, 2, 3, 4, We'll five, show you those six, on the next shelf seven. down. And yeah. Mm, let's jump down to the next shelf. Uh, so as Nathan was saying, these are the other series here. Now, what's annoying, I just want to mention, is that Series 5, 6, and 7... Oops, tilting the camera there. Came out many, many, many years after the first four <laughs> yes. sets. Because um, it was cancelled for a while. So they're in really nice slim cases. Yeah, so by, by that time, DVDs and Blu-rays were, you know... So you've got these massive ones that only have four discs, and then you have these ones, which, you know, can hold up like six, eight discs or something. Yeah. So. so we wish we had these in the nice small yeah. ones. And we will have when we get the Blu-rays of all of them. We will. But it's just not the top of our list at and the moment. And then we have something we don't really care about. And Gilmore next... Girls, one of my all-time favourites. I think I've seen it like four or five times and now. And we saw the new sort of four-part series yep. on Netflix. Yep, and hopefully, it was, I, I heard rumours they might consider doing more, so fingers crossed. They don't need to. Fingers crossed. <laughs> then you have Heroes, Heroes, which is a series that I remember starting off really strongly, and then no one gave a damn after the first series. I've only seen the first series, so I'm, so, I'm yeah, I haven't uh, watched the others yet, which is why they're there. Yeah. Um, something a bit different. I really like cooking shows. Um, Heston Blumenthal is and really cool. He makes some weird. He, he does like historical feasts and stuff, and has celebrities on to go and to these tries dinner and parties. Like melds different sort of things together. Yeah. Things that wouldn't normally go together. Yeah, it's just it really interesting. Um, yeah, like I said, I like a lot of cooking shows though, so it makes sense that I've got that. Um, Hex, it's a BBC so they keep, drama. They keep killing the main characters like every, and things. every episode, pretty much. Um, yeah, something a bit different. That one, uh, I'm sure probably a lot less people have seen mm. that than a lot of the other things we have. But, yeah, it's 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 good. I like the British sort of things yeah, like that. It's, the, it's a it's a fantasy sort of thing. And they're not as um, afraid, like I said, to knock off main characters. And yeah, sort of and, and actually change ruthless. things up. Exactly. Horrible Histories, that's definitely yours. Um, but it's series actually, 1 to 4. It's actually a really well done sort of educational series. It can be, yeah. Yeah, so... 
it's just nice to have in the background if you're just sort of doing some cleaning or whatever, for me personally. Yeah, so. I mean, we've got two little boys, so I'm sure when they're old enough, they'll probably enjoy watching horrible, gross things about history oh, and they'll learn they and, and enjoy. Um, How I Met Your Mother, I think we're missing... Is this two a, sets or three. Another couple, yeah. yeah. I think we're missing at least one. Um, it gets It's really good and unlike other Until series, the end. it's sort of... <laughs> It's like a bell curve, so it sort of goes up, 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 and right at the top, it sort of dips right, sort of back down. Yeah, of. I, I would agree with that. Um, you've got the Invader Zim, which doesn't want to come which out. From, actually, I heard they're either making a new series or a movie or something based on it. So, which well, is I thought I heard a rumor today actually about Roseanne being rebooted as well. Roseanne. The TV oh. show. I don't know whether that's true. I briefly saw something. I didn't get the chance to read it because I had uh, one of the kids with me, and yeah. You know how it is. Oh, it's my phone going off in the background. IT crowd, another one that's very similar to um, Flight of the Concords and its humor. It, yeah. It's sort of a dry sort of... It's, it's basically the IT department of a company and there's only three of them and they kind of just get shoved in the basement. But Pretty it's much. in a funny way. In a funny way. <laughs> yeah. So what have we got here? Yours here. We have Jackass. Um, I really like Jackass. We only um, have a couple. Though. There's more than this, isn't there? Yeah, I've got the Blu-ray somewhere. So in fact, the Blu-ray is actually a bit further on. The movie collection and... And there's also a series, I think, which I don't own. Um, the Blu-ray collection is only over here because these lower shelves are the ones that our son can reach. Yeah, funny about that. <laughs> so he, he tends to pull them out and rearrange them a little bit. Uh, we have Kitchen Nightmares or Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares, depending on uh, what you think prefer to call it. Are they the UK or the, the US ones? I can't uh, we've got some of both, I think. There. We've got a bit of a mix. So they're um, Gordon Ramsay, where he goes and fixes bad restaurants, basically. Um, so the UK one is much more tame and reasonable, and the US one is a lot more sort of shock. Sensationalised. Yeah. yeah, definitely. But still fun to watch. Still fun way. to watch. Um, another Law and Order... SVU. I've only got two of those, and as I said, one was up there and, and broken, so I need to pick up some more yeah, of those at some point, because there's 15 oh, seasons, 15, 16, I think, maybe? Yeah. Crazy. More than I've got, though. Um, another one of yours, Mystery Science Theatre Which has actually 3, just been re uh, released with new hosts and new episodes on Netflix, yeah. I think. So basically, they um, watch crappy movies, mostly sci-fi from like the 40s, 50s, 60s, and they just riff on it the entire time. Yeah. Um, so uh, there's not really much else to say about it. I find some of them are better than others. Like yeah. I'll, I'll watch some of them with Nathan, but others I'm sort it, of it like, It depends yeah. on the movie they're watching and things like that, but another... Yeah, another one of mine, Lost in Austin. Uh, it's basically a weird mix of Pride and Prejudice and time travel. Um, yeah. She ends up back in the Pride and Prejudice sort of book from like modern day... Of course you do. Britain, so... Another mystery space. Sort yeah, of. again, these are a bit mixed up because these are the ones our son can reach and move. The Nanny, season one to three, because... Hey, where are the old two seasons? Series four and five, Laura? Nowhere. Yeah, they never released them, so that's the Let's bummer. hope. Let's hope they're out there somewhere someone's thinking of doing that because I'd really like to pick up the rest. And we have Spongebob... The Just the pants. movie. We have more down there. That but, is not in the right place. <laughs> um, the first movie I think is fantastic. The second movie is not great, unfortunately. Mm. We have Planet Earth, which is a fantastic documentary by yeah. um, David Attenborough. And then and we that, have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I should mention that Planet Earth, the sequel is actually out too. so yeah, Which we don't have. Um, and then you've got a whole bunch of random Pokemon movies. Oh wait, there's more. None of which I've seen you watch. Yeah, we'll show you some more on the final shelf of our DVD collection. Can't wait. Alright, so, more Pokemon movies. Um, Look at how many Nathan has. Uh, which one? I think this one is... And of course, th there was like, three on the last shelf. So I saw that actually in the cinemas, and I got the Ancient Mew Pokemon card <laughs> if you're going to see it. Also, if anyone's wondering what's just off to the left, that's our son's Thomas Couch. <laughs> he does like that couch. He I mean, does. Uh, Pokemon 2000, and then I, I sort of lose track on... Um, and by no means are these in order, so don't, you know, you don't need to leave comments telling us we've got them wrong. We just stuffed them in the shelf. <laughs> and we have, uh, what is it about time travel? Primeval. Um, it's basically like uh, wormholes open up between historical sort of eras with dinosaurs and current day, and then, you know, dinosaur fun, rampaging yeah, through. five series, which is quite amazing. It's actually a really good show. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, which is why I have all five. Ren and Snippy, the first and second series. Yeah. Um, the best ones, I think. Mm. Uh, some of the writers leave afterwards. And we've got a couple of random things we got for free. Raising children. Um, oh. Living uh, with water. <laughs> and my first Magic DVD. So... Darwin. Yeah. <laughs> and that Just might actually be weird. good for one of our other things on the channel. Magic yeah, Magic. we might be doing something with magic tricks, sort of. Oh, you'll see. Rocco's Modern Life. 
one of those ones where it had a lot of jokes which you didn't get as a child and then you watch it now and you're like gee how'd they get away with that mm -hmm. and then we have scrubs i think we have all of them uh yeah even the last season which is not good let's let's face it you said wait no, no, I think nine. Nine. Is... Oh, I think we might have got rid of nine. Nine is the last season. Yeah, so that is not good. Nine is basically like a whole new hospital, and it's awful. <laughs> so it's actually an excellent series, and I think it's another one of the ones. As long as you only watch the first day, you're fine. Um, one of mine, uh, Secret Diary of a Call Girl, is exactly what it sounds like. It's I think it's based on novels or I like think... someone's memoirs or something. But I think it was a bit more tasteful than what you'd expect it to be. No, it's, not... it's really not. Oh well. Well, it is in some areas, but no, definitely not one you want to watch with the kids around or if you get a bit embarrassed about things of that nature. That nature. Yes. We have the Simpsons movie and then we have, of course, the classic Sonic Christmas Blast. Oh, of course. Still in plastic. I got for free with a, a, a Christmas card for a dollar. <laughs> so you know it's quality. Yeah, one of those like kids' cards yeah. where you get a free movie as well. And we got the South Park Imagination, Imagination Land. So this is the second movie, I think. Um, I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not really a South Park no. fan. We have season 20 of The Simpsons. We actually have the rest. Um, they're just in a box somewhere because they take up so much space. Yeah, they're in a huge box set. So, yeah, we don't just have that set because that would be just weird. Then we have Spangbob Squam Plan. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, so eight, eight seasons. seasons. Um, at the moment, there is only eight seasons out in Australia. It's been a really long wait, though, for Series yeah. 9. Like, I, I bought you Season 8... Um, a long time ago, and then you got the box and set the box a long time ago, yeah. Um, now, Nathan's just sitting in the way, so we're just going to move him so we can look at the last sort of couple of things. All right, so it's a bit dark here, but I'm sure my lovely wife, Laura, will fix that in editing. <sighs> yes, yeah, giving me extra work. Um, we have Stargate Arc of Truth, which I think is just the first movie before... No, the... no. no. So Arc of Truth and Continuum, which is the next one, are the two movies that come after Stargate SG-1 and mm. actually finish off. Sort of all sort of finish off the storyline. I haven't actually watched those two, just the just the series themselves. And we have Atlantis, which is actually not too bad, but I don't think it ended very well. I, I'm a huge fan. Love Stargate SG One and Atlantis. Which, I haven't seen a Universe, is it? The third uh, sort no. of shorter series. I never watched that and one. How about we just point oh. out the um giant box set? That's how much we loved it. <laughs> and it's fifty nine discs. Yeah. So. All ten seasons. Yep. Plus exclusive bonus features. Mm, yeah. Sure. And plus look Looks like it's got the Stargate on there, which is so cool. All right, you may Columbia. continue. Super Mario Brothers cartoon. Um, it's like uh, the actual movie. It's good in a bad way. The animation is pretty awful, but holds a nostalgic sort of part hmm. for me. Supernatural. The season one. Season one of Supernatural. We don't really need that anymore because uh, Supernatural's on Netflix. We obviously have Netflix. We've mentioned it yeah. a few times. Um, and we've only... <laughs> together watch series one yeah so <laughs> i've seen about three i think but we're so far behind and then we have ninja turtles with volumes one two and three which is the original cartoon uh, and then uh, <laughs> on holiday and dining, dining out, out with timon and pumba which is sort of um just side sort of cartoons based on the lion king so they're actually, very loosely they're actually pretty cool <laughs> but i think the, um, the characters themselves really hold together nicely uh the next one is actually an australian one it's called two twisted or it might just be twisted i've just... always called it two twisted but um so brian brown it's kind of like a twilight zone type thing where you know you watch it's got sam neill in some of them doesn't it uh, one, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you sort of watch it and, you know, there's a little twist at the end or something. And at the end you go, oh, I didn't realise that was what was going pants. on. Um, yeah, sort of more thought-provoking Twilight Zone type thing. Then we have Viva Pinata Volumes 1 and 3. Of course. So it's a short-lived animation based on the rare game on Xbox 360 called Viva Pinata. Yeah, I really enjoyed the game and the cartoons are pretty funny. They're one of the only cartoons I've really no, wanted to watch. So. Sort of cool. And the last yeah. two is the best of whose lines anyway. Yes. Uncensored. I wish I had like several DVDs of those. Whose line is it anyway? My all time favourite TV show. And Weird Al Yankovic, the ultimate video game collection. Yeah. You've got to have some Weird Al in your so you've got DVD. A whole bunch set. Of these sort of uh... famous clips. Yeah. yeah. So really nice little um And the very last thing is our Dark Knight trilogy um, limited edition gift set. So it's really annoying because look how wide it is. I mean, look at my hand, like, you know, it's just too long. There's actually a whole bunch of these gift sets now for a whole bunch of like more modern series. I'm just thinking, how irritating is it to store? Yeah, see, I'd prefer having, you know, something this size with, uh, you know, all the discs in that. But, 
No. I don't know what makes limitations. Does it have cards or something in it? I don't know. Oh. So it's got like a... We've got a loose disc. A book. There's a book in it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, I mean, it's a nice set. It's just the shape of it that bothers me because we have to store it in the corner with the SG-1 so it becomes box set, a, which obviously doesn't fit really anywhere else. A certified dust magnet. Exactly. Um, so that is everything in our DVD collection, actually. I'm sure we've got a couple of things floating around, but that's, that's yeah. So I'm on the floor right now, and you can, I can't even woo, show you how high it is. Yep. So if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, leave us a comment about what your, you know, sort of DVD collection looks like. And let us know if you think uh, my selection of movies is much better than Laura's. <laughs> or if mine is better. So make sure you watch both parts so you can get a clear picture there. Um, hit subscribe as well so you don't miss any new videos. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.